for evading the ED summons for the sixth time, now Kejriwal is called before the court in connection with the complaint filed by the agency for non-compliance with its summon in Liquor Gate case. Just ahead of the day, Kejriwal moved a summon of confidence in Delhi Assembly. Kejriwal, while appearing virtually, informed the court that he wanted to join the court proceedings physically, but due to the confidence motion and budget session, he was unable to attend physically. The Bharatiya Janata Party held a two-day national convention in Delhi starting on Saturday to discuss strategies for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. The event taking place at Bharat Mandapam commenced with an address by the party's national president J.P. Nadda and featured keynote speech by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Further, the meeting involved discussions among national officials, state presidents, organization minister and Lok Sabha clusters in charge. A surge of turmoil hit Churachand district of Manipur as members of the Kuki community launched a violent protest in response to the suspension of a Kuki head constable. The constable's involvement in a controversial video led to widespread outrage. The protest turned chaotic with hundreds storming the offices of the superintendent of police and deputy commissioners, resulting in the fatalities including 29-year-old and a 15-year-old youth. The Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum has called for accountability, blaming local authorities for the violent turn of incident and demanding justice for the loss of lives. In a shocking incident, three died and one sustained injury after a car accident that took place on the Pune Nashik Highway near Manchar Taluka of Pune district. According to Pune rural police officials, the accident occurred when a car collided with a road divider after which it collided with a tempo. The accident scene depicted devastating aftermath of the collision. Further investigation into the incident is underway. In another significant development, ISRO is set to launch its meteorological satellite inside 3DS into space on a GSLV. The crucial mission for the rocket has been nicknamed as Naughty Boy for its spotty record. The ISRO said that the GSLV F-14 will lift off at 5.35 pm from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. It will be the rocket's 16th mission overall and its 10th flight using the indigenous developed cryogenic engine. After two failed attempts, Japan successfully launched its third-generation rocket into the orbit. According to the report, the next-generation H3 rocket had a successful liftoff at 9.22 am and entered its planned orbit carrying a dummy satellite and two functioning microsatellites. Employees at Jaksha Command Center cheered and hugged each other during the broadcast as the rocket reached its trajectory and released its first payload. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken met Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi and held discussion during their meeting at Munich Security Conference on Friday. According to U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller, the discussion on the sidelines of the summit touched on the range of bilateral, regional and global issues as part of the ongoing efforts to maintain open line of communication and responsibility in the relationship. The two sides also exchange views on the situation of West Asia and on the Korean Peninsula and affirmed that their respective senior officials should need to follow up on these discussions. Amid the federal government formation hitting a stalemate in Pakistan, Commissioner Rawal Pindi Division Liaquat Ali Chatta on Saturday resigned from his post in protest against the electoral irregularities, especially region. According to the report, the commissioner held a press conference at Rawal Pindi Cricket Stadium in which he tendered his resignation, saying that he had done injustice to the people of Rawal Pindi Division. He further admitted that rigging took place in Rawal Pindi Division and he took responsibility of it. For more news updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the Rhythm app.